Here are three tips and tricks in Fusion 360 that you should learn sooner rather than later. Let's learn it in less than five minutes. Simplify. If you have anything from a simple to complex model that you'd like to quickly and efficiently remove certain features from, Fusion 360 has you covered. In the Design Workspace, under the Solid tab and Modify, you'll find Simplify and then Remove Features. First, we're going to select our body, and then we can change or select features that we'd like removed. For example, we can select all, or we can remove all. We can select just one item at a time. But in this instance, let's leave select all on. We can change our feature size as well. Right now at our minimum feature size, and as we move that scroll up, there we can see that more features are included in the selection. We can also change our manual features to keep or remove certain features within our body. Once we're satisfied with what we've selected, we can press the delete button and there it gives us a preview of what is retained in our design. If that's what we like, then we can just hit the close button. Now keep in mind that this is a parametric modeling feature, so we can revisit it in our timeline by editing removed features and we can change that if we'd like. We can even select it and suppress features to go back to our original model. This is particularly useful in the manufacturer environment where complex bodies need to be simplified before or even after certain operations are performed. Give it a try. If you found this helpful in a specific case, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Using splines properly. Say we have to use a spline to trace a complex shape. Let's look at an example. I'm going to insert a canvas. Here we have the picture of a piggy bank, and we'd like to sketch the outline of the ear. Now our initial thought is to create a spline with as many control points as possible to trace out the ear. Let's do that. So we might do something like this, and we might sketch all those different points over here and have something like that. We could probably even align these a little bit better or change our control rods or whatever in order to make this work. However, please note that it is not only good practice and the professional way of using splines, but it's also a ton easier if we use as few control points as possible. Let me show you. So let's delete that spline. We're gonna create another spline here and we're just going to pick, well, let's pick three points. Now we can adjust that and we can actually click on the control points and we'll see a control rod. We can move that rod to fit perfectly into the shape of our ear for this particular example. And we can push and pull those control rods to adjust the overall arc of our spline. So there we have it, just with three points, we have done that exact same complex shape, but have done it a lot easier so that we can manipulate or control those control points and rods much easier and we can make adjustments in a much easier way also. If you benefited from this or other tutorials made by the Learn It channel, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. If you love our content, please consider buying us a coffee or becoming a patron. Check out our other tutorials too. The shortcut search box. This is one of the most underutilized features of Fusion 360 and is particularly helpful for newer users. If you need to find something easily, just press the S button on your keyboard to bring up the search box. Here you can search for any operation or design tool which will find it for you, rather than having to search for it in the menus and sub menus. For example, we can type in EX for extrude. We can type RE and find all the different design features with the letters RE in them and so on. Also, the shortcut box can be used to save frequently used operations or design features for your convenience. And you'll find them here in our design shortcuts box. To add a shortcut, we can simply go to our menu, find the shortcut that we'd like added, just go to the three dots at the end of that particular item and pin it to shortcuts. That way, when we now press S, you'll see it in our design shortcuts box. Hope you've benefited from this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and keep up the great job in learning with the Learn It channel.